talking about? Well, I'm talking about a 17-year-old who's making his Pocono debut this weekend, and that would be Kyle Weatherman. He had a strong qualifying effort, ended up qualifying third, but I just spoke to him a little bit ago, and he told me he's still trying to get comfortable in turn one. But the good news is he's got a lot of good drivers to lean on for some advice and insight. One of those guys is his roommate, Chris Busher, the Xfinity Series driver for Roush Fenway Racing. Those two live together, and he told me that Chris has given him a lot of advice on how to get around Pocono Raceway. And another guy who's helped him is Trevor Bain. Trevor Bain piloted this same race car to Victory Lane just back in June. So some good guys to get some advice for on how to get around Pocono Raceway. Guys, Laney debuted in the Truck Series at this very racetrack back in 2012. And since then, he's enjoyed some success at Bristol. He won the Xfinity race here just last August. And he told me he has a lot of great memories of coming to this track, watching his dad race as a young boy. He says, I always look forward to coming to Bristol. And I think when you look forward to coming to a track, you always run well at it. He has run well over the past two days. He's been fast in practice, and he is starting second for tonight's race. Adam? What's going on with our two-time defending champion, Matt Kraft in six right now, Caitlin? Well, Adam, his crew chief junior joiner told me this is one of the racetracks they really want to get a win at. It's one of the two tracks he's never won at. It would be a feather in the cap because of the prestige of winning at Bristol Motor Speedway. He said we feel a lot better than we did a year ago when we came here. We made a ton of changes from what we ran last year, and it seems to be paying off. The biggest feedback he's given is it's tight through the center and off. Matt Kurzievsky gives it up here on lap number 24, Caitlin. That's right, Ray. The race leader is coming down pit road. I heard him asking his team what Cole Custer did on his last stop. So similar to Cole, they've opted to do a two-tire right side stop only for this 54 machine. Guys. And Will Kimmel stays on the track that lap, Phil. He got 23 will be next, Caitlin. Yes, your series points leader is coming down pit road. He told his team it had a four-wheel drift and no grip on that race car. And he also said it started out loose, but now it's ended up a little bit tight. And his crew chief responded saying you had more air in the left rear than you needed. So they're going to make it a four tires and fuel stop for the 23. Well, Vince, one driver who's been knocking on the door of a win is Daniel Suarez. He's coming off a career best finish of second just last weekend at Dover. And I chatted with Daniel earlier, and he says he's just getting more confident and confident with each race in these trucks. And his crew chief, Jerry Baxter, says he gives Kyle Busch, his team owner, a call every single week to get advice and insight on these various racetracks. Now, Daniel has raced here at Texas Motor Speedway in the Xfinity Series, but he was struggling to find balance in his truck yesterday during practice. But his crew Chief Jerry told me that they ran simulation. They changed a ton, and it seems it has paid off. There is some good speed in this 51 truck. They are going to roll off third for tonight's race. Johnny? Time a year ago, Matt Crafton was a winner here at Texas Motor Speedway, and today he finds himself in victory lane once again, getting his third win of the season. Matt, walk us through that final restart and battling Daniel Swift. For the win. Uh, I, ooh, them restarts were hairy. Uh, you spin the tires so bad on the restart before that. These guys build me great trucks. Matt, when you and I talked yesterday, you said that you were happy but not satisfied with the season just yet. Now, another win under your belt. Are you feeling a little more satisfied? We're happy. We're happy for sure. We're definitely not satisfied. We'll be satisfied when we get to Homestead. Again with Caitlin. Well, we were talking about how fast that pit stop was for the 54 team. And the reason that is is because he's using members of the 48 Sprint Cup team for Jimmy Johnson tire changers from that team on that car. So they're feeling pretty good. They've been chatting about the weather and Donald Trump on their radio right now. But in all seriousness, his crew chief said, all right, on this restart, you've got to beat the double zero. That will be for the race, guys. Quickly, Caitlin. Well, Michael, what you were talking about with the weather, that's exactly why Matt Crafton didn't pit. His crew chief, Junior Joyner, said if the big one hits, it will probably be over. You know what to do. We are way better in traffic than Cole Custer is. Under red with 34 to go and Matt Crafton in the lead, Caitlin. Well, Adam Jr. Joyner made the call to stay out because of weather that was coming. And now it looks like it might be a pretty good call for you. Yeah, uh, the guys on the box told me it was coming, so we were counting it down to Matt. Start things out with Caitlin Vincy. Good evening, Caitlin. Good evening, Adam. Well, one driver who is really looking forward to coming to Texas Motor Speedway is Cameron Haley. Why? Because it's one of the few tracks on the schedule he has previous experience at in a truck. He finished 10th here in the fall, and really, Thor Sport Racing as a whole has been very competitive here in Fort Worth. They've won three of the last six truck races here at Texas Motor Speedway. And Cameron also told me just this week he moved from Alberta, Canada to Sandusky, Ohio, where the team is based out of, to be closer to the team and more involved with the day-to-day -day operations. 
engines, which he thinks is going to make a big difference. He's starting eighth for tonight's race, but for more on one of his teammates, let's check in with Vince Welch. To Caitlin Vincent. Well, Adam, Matt is waiting patiently for maybe going racing again if we get this racetrack dry. I've been battling the rain all day. What's this day been like for you? Do you think we can get back racing? It's definitely been long. We fought the rain all day yesterday as well. And today it's been hit or miss. We've got most of it would be just fine. I I'm Indian, so maybe I can do a little Indian rain dance when we're done here and, and keep the rain coming. So hopefully it will keep the green and red will come and pour and we'll go celebrate later, maybe. Maybe we'll be seeing Matt Crafton's Indian rain dance later, guys.